Hi friends, now we are going to talk about how we can hide a uh, certain payment terms. Let me tell you what I'm talking about first. Okay, so here I have ME, I'm going to ME23 and, and I want to, for some reason, I want the user not to see the payment terms in the FO list. So payment terms is the terms that you have a negotiation with you and the vendor that this you're going to pay this amount based on the document date so here you can see suppose these are the payment terms that are already refined now suppose for some reason we are going to hide this payment term 0003 okay so in order to know how how will i know uh, which would be the uh what what is the configuration based on this okay so in order to know what is the configuration based for payment terms okay there's an easy way you can find it okay let me go I'll show you SC16T, okay, and I have, uh, and this may be available in S4, uh, it will be available in S4 for sure, and in ECC based on some support pack level. Okay, so, so here I'll just go execute, okay, and here I'll go payment, okay, you need to be a little patient because it tries to find when you turn typing in okay and here i'll just put terms and then we have the list so here i'll go these are all the missed master data and all those things i'll just select this one this is what i want it's related with purchasing okay and i'll execute here we are there now we select this line three this one and i'll go here and i'll see here height entry in input help okay and I'll just click save. Okay, and that's it. Renaro down. Now we will check it. You might be saying, okay, we did it. Now it will show something different. The three will be hidden, right? So if you see, oops, it's not hidden yet. Oh, you know why it's not hidden? Because I have selected one line. So let me go. Let me show you. So what happened is, let me go here, I'll close this. And actually, because I selected one uh, user parameter that will enable me to show all those things. So here you see, show obsolete, this is selected. What I'm going to do is I'll just click on negative and I'll save it now. Okay, now we will see the same thing. And now this will disappear. Okay, so if I go here and now you see it's disappeared. So that's it. Stay tuned to my SAP channel and uh, happy SAP learning and have a great day.